Why study myth? Joseph Campbell said it beautifully. He said, the myth is the collective dream, and the dream is the personal myth. What does that mean? I like to leave certain things as a mystery, but I will explain the why of it, the why study it, why listen to it, why engage with it. Within mythology, within these timeless and eternal stories, we can hear the basic cycle of human development, of personal development, the way that we relate to the world. A story guides us in our ways, it guides our growth. Mythology is the story that we use to relate our inner experience with external phenomena, including our bodies, including our own stages of development, adolescence, and of course the inevitable end and its mystery of death, right? And death as we see it all around. Mythology came about, you know, um, or was there for our ancestors who killed the animals that they loved, with whom they had a, dire a direct relation to, right, in order to survive. And so these stories, these mythologies, were created in order to relate their inner sorrow and their gratitude with the phenomenon of death. So mythologies guide us through life, through our inner life, as we move through the outer world. And mythology is as relevant as it is today as it was when it was first created, when these stories were first told. They continue to say the same things over and over and over again. Joseph Campbell said that the personages of mythology today are waiting on the corner of Park Avenue and 42nd, waiting for the light to change.